Hey, well builders, I overheard uh, a couple of people trying to figure out how they could rent an apartment. They were complaining that apartments for a two bedroom, two bath apartment in the area they wanted to be in was $2,000 a month. Now, by Seattle standards, that sounds pretty good, but I, I get it. But they were, they were going through and they were having like such a hard time figuring out how to qualify for it. They knew that landlords required three times the, uh, the amount of rent can grow. So in this case, 2,000 bucks a month, 24,000 bucks a year, three times that, somewhere in the neighborhood of 72,000 a year. So what I wanted to help them with, but I had, I had to go on my way, um, is that it's really pretty easy. In fact, qualifying isn't actually that hard. So if we assume that they make minimum wage, then they would need either two people making minimum wage plus a side hustle or three people uh, making minimum wage because they'd be a couple thousand short to make that 3x uh, component um, and then then you're in and I think what people have issue with is they just want things to be the way they, they want it to be regardless of whether it makes sense so yeah, you might complain about a two bedroom, two bath being $2,000 a month, but that's the market rate as set by your peers. So if you don't like it, then don't rent a $2,000 a month, two bedroom, two bath apartment. Rent something else or buy something else or figure out other accommodations. So I guess what I'm trying to get at is the math is pretty easy to get there. Either get two roommates or somebody that's earning more than minimum wage. If you don't earn more than the minimum wage, improve your skills. Now, there's plenty of people that are really wanting to hire right now. So the big thing is do the math, figure out how to make it work, and think outside the box. Maybe you don't need a two bedroom, two bath. Maybe you need a two bedroom, one bath, which is a little less. Or maybe you need a one bedroom. Or maybe you need a studio. Or maybe you need to move out of the area to somewhere even cheaper. I, I know people that are that pay 150 bucks a year to live where they're living. So it's all about choice. 150 bucks a year, most people can afford on just about any budget. So remember, it's a choice. Do the math, get creative, think outside the box. You're only competing against your peers.